and we are live for the next talk at me C++ 2022. This time we are going to listen to a talk about Petri nets, what they are they and how can they help us by Gabriel Valenzuela. Welcome Gabriel, happy to have you at the conference. Please take it away. Hello Jan, thank you for the opportunity and welcome to everyone. Uh, my name is Gabriel. Um, I will try to explain what are the pertinence and make a good summary of this tool. Um, well, today's agenda is a, a little introduction about some topics. Later, we will talk about some particulars and special structures of PetNet and explain what are PetNet, how would we be useful to us and make a relationship between PetNet and C++. Well, I am computer engineer, recently graduated from the University of Nacional de Córdoba. I am from Argentina. I am currently also a software engineer in WhatsApp. I was volunteering in some conference like CPP on CIA, CPP Now, and CPPCon. If I had to define myself, I would say I, I am a very curious and pragmatic person. I always try to learn something new. But what is about talk? Okay, the talk is about I make a little review about modern system tools. We will uh, make a review about some particular concept we are not explained uh, in details. We will explain what are the pivot networks and how can benefit to us. And, and like I said, keep in sample and relationship between PTNS and C++. And uh, this topic in special is my degree thesis. I made a program in C++, more C++ using PTNS. And we will see uh, what this program makes and some details. So I uh, assume yeah, many people here are related with the concept of design of system. Um, every day, more specific case and more complicated system are uh, rising with the new advancing technology and so on. So there is increased emphasis on speed in the analysis and design of this system. And it's important to make focus in the design of the system because understanding system development requires an understanding not only of each technique, tool, and method, but also how this element complement and support in total with the organization setting. It's important make emphasis in the system design because when we work in the system and uh, in the phase of the design, we are integrating components to a purpose. A common methodology to system designs and analysis, for example, is the system development life cycle. This methodology has several Phases, phases, sorry, that mark the progress of the system analysis and design for. And one of these phases is the design phase. During each design, the analyst converts the description of the recommended alternative solution into logical and then physical system specification. So we can see that the design phase is important because we can drive in the road with our a GPS, for example, we will lose and make it the wrong design, uh, which we, it will be a very huge problem in the future. And we can see in the history what a bad design could done. So, we had several tools today to make an system 
analysis and design. For example, we have CISMN. CISMN allows us to make a design and maybe simulate system. But I will let you with the new question here. Who CISMN detect concurrence problem in the system simulation? Another tool we have are the block diagrams. We can build uh, necessary blocks and see the input, output, and how it related with the logic piece or system, but we can simulate and diagram block. Or maybe we can use flow diagrams, for example, or maybe EML diagrams like sequence diagrams, or maybe uh, object behavior diagrams. But these are a design that not tell us how the system behaviors or could be behavior in a particular input. So here, entering the game, then it's theory and uh, practice. But where are the best when uh, appear in the history? The patternets are introduced, were introduced by Carl Adam Petri in 1962. Formally, he described the patternets in the thesis of communication with automata. And from that publication, the development story of patternet will increase during the years. Now we can see that, that the patternets are not a new tool of this era. It's a tool from history with a little history. So what are the patternets? Well, we can define the patternets like a departed graph that has two types of nodes. We have the place here, represented by this circle, and the transition here represented by the black square. Some authors represent transition with the unfilled is well, but it's commonly defined the pattern of transition represented for this symbol here. Also, we have a token. We will see a particularly our token forward, but for now, we can say the token is the representation of the flow of the pedinet. And um, we have also, sorry, a, a arc joining the place with the transition and transition with the place. We can join and we cannot put an arc between a place and another place, or transition and another transition. Yes. Uh, we can see that the number of places is finite and not zero, and also is this condition is uh, put with the transition. We can find a finite and not zero number transition, and the arc, like I said before, the union between and place and transition or transition and place. Pettiness are near to know it structure, for example. A state graph when we have a pertinent that only have transition between single input and single output, which is talking about state graph like the automata. Or maybe we can have an even graph when each place has only one input and one output. So for now, we can see we have a representation graphical of. Um, tools similar to uh, like automata, but what is the most important feature about the net is the mathematical expression of the network. The relation biomimical between the graphical and mathematical expression in the net, and that is the most 
important feature of the petty net because we can represent the state of the network or the system we have to model with a mathematical expression. The state expression uh, uses to understand the different types of and we see events, words, and maybe using time, and obtain the next state of system. Uh, we can see the state equation is a vector product and vector add of the network. And in a simple way, we can say that the next state and um, G plus one is equal to the other state MG plus I dot sigma. And what are I and sigma? Well, I is the incident matrix of the network, and sigma is the fine vector. We will talk about the fine and the concept of shooting the WDT net later but it's important to recall about the incident matrix the incident matrix is a matrix of dimensions at n times m where its elements are defined as the input from um, the amount of x from a transition t sub i to the place p sub J minus the amount of R of coming from that place to a transition. And we can see the incident matrix that not only represents the system in whole, but also we can see the another subsystem inside this system. And me, we can represent this incident matrix like an if matrix. And this if will we evaluate a condition and if true, then we change the system state. And what is this condition? This condition is defined by the is actual state of the network and the fine vector we want to find. So, when we're working with Petrinex, I say we have several types of arcs. And this is another feature important for the net because we can design in a modern way. So, if a system or, or problem needs to be more complex, we can add new types of arcs to this is a mathematical expression. And a simple pattern like um, that behavior, like an automaton, to another complex pattern that, that behavior like a tuning machine. And for example, this type of arc are the in vitro arc that arc enable the transition if the outcoming place has no plane inside. We have, for example, the reader arc that now um, uh, consumes any token and enable the transition if we have at least one in the outcoming place. Another type of arc is the research arc. To reset that, we remove all tokens from the upcoming place when the transition is fine. And this expression, we can add it more with the concept of word and events. And what are the words and events? Well, what is a tag? So it's a logical variable associated to transition, transcend expression capability. When we added R, uh, one, sorry, 
to a transition, we make it the tag that we can say you are enabled or you are not enabled to fight. So when you want us to, the transition will be able to fight if the condition are also named. It's in conjunction, yes? And events is more related with the embedded system. For example, we can represent a embedded system with the pattern net and make an action in, in an actor, for example, if an event has happened. So the event is stored in a curve as you say to a transition. And when there is a leads to an event in the queue, the transition will be in a Yes. And I make the reference of filing the pertinent. But what is five pertinent? Well, it should five pertinent. It perform the mathematical expression of the state transition. When we should uh, transition, we make an exchange of the vector and calculate the new state vector. But we have several transition in that one with will be immediate or time transition. So we need to establish a policy to consist in the selection of the transition to be fired. So we can define which transition we have more priority to fire and change the state of system than another. For PETINEX, doing the autonomous PETINEX, this selection is random. Transition could be zero, three, well, depending on the amount of transition we have. And for that reason, our system is non determinist But we can provide solution to have a behavior determinist with the priority probabilities, for example, using the new special acts included for example, the inhibitor arcs. It's very common to um, make a transition to have purity to fire than another. And in order to avoid this conflict, because we have two transitions with the same purity, and these two transitions has uh, the possibility to make the fire and change the network we can use a single server policy. So what this means? This means we can calculate the new state, let's say the marking, consider only one shot of one transition, it's not necessary to fight both transitions. So when we make the shoot of the pattern net, we're taking, like I say, the current state vector and adding with the matrix product, it's more like two vectors out. And we have finally a vector that result. So in order to mathematically represent this instances of the previous animal arc, we need more matrix or more vectors than indicates the connection between the place and transition because the original uh, equation of the pertinence only works with uh, place transition pertinence. That means pertinence has only transitions and regular arcs and place. This no uh, general state equation developed by my ex professor and the director includes the mathematical expression of the new type of arc to make a consist and advanced formula in a matter to say to calculate your state. It's important to recall that elements or this 
all these elements in the instance matrix are binary. So we have a zero or a one, a false or a true. So when a transition is enabled to file, well, if this transition has an individual arc, the place from the oncoming arc must not have any tokens. Also, it has a vector arc, the place from uh, that arc is coming, have at least one arc, one token, sorry. And the transition is attacked with the wall, has this wall value be true, and is his transition has events, a cure or events, at least must have one event. And we can also add the concept of time when we see a little more forward, but when we add the concept of time, we have a counter that uh, make a register of the ellipsic time, and we have a window when the transition is enabled if time is inside the window. So this five condition, yes, five condition, are necessary to enable a transition. And like I say, when we add new type of arc, we, we have to add more vectors and matrix to increase the mathematical expressivity of the network. And this is done, for example, by the vector of transition disabled by the individual arcs. That is a linear vector that shows with a zero which transition disabled by individual arcs and one uh, those that are not. And this vector is obtained like the matrix uh, product, sorry, between the H matrix that is the incident matrix that relates the individual arcs of the network, the whole network, and the Q vector that is a linear vector with dimensions uh, n times one, where the element have zero is the marking of the place is different to zero and one otherwise. So we can make this matrix model is another uh, vector app. If we can simplify it in another way. And obtain this auxiliary vector B. Another auxiliary vector is with the reader axis and it's calculated in a similar way we can use in R in matrix when we can see all reader arcs in the network, in the whole network, and the W vector that marks when the token is present in a place or not, and obtain this another vector. We can represent the words of all network like a vector or binary elements. So we have one when in there is a word in true and zero when we have a word in false. It's an easy vector to obtain the D for the world. And in a similar way, we have the element vector. So this vector are uh, like a translation from the awards and events of each transition in a representative like a vector. See. And we can also add the concept of time. This is a binary vector that indicates with the zero which transition and the goal and the same, sorry, because the started time has no return or has passed, uh, this is the Windows uh, vector file that the transition has to, to file, sorry. We have a window when this 
time is inside the window, the transition is an energy file. And we can see this x vector is equal to time q and is related with the another vectors like v, l, g, and e. We have a clock and intervals. And we see that e is the neighbor vector uh, that said when a uh, transition in a regular pattern X, the upcoming place has at least one token or the necessary amount of token required by the arc. The arc will be uh, greater or equal to one. And the relation team between Q and intervals is in any vector of dimension M times one, the value of each component is a counter of time with the time Leipzig indicated by the component. Yes, we have the, the interval of each component and we have uh, alpha time and beta time. When the counter is between alpha and beta, we can say that transition is an energy fine. These are the pre-shoot time and post-shoot time in a model design. And we can see that is the conclusion between these uh, auxiliary vectors and also this window period to find. And the interval are represented by these uh, numbers that represent the window period. Finally, we can represent the reset arc vector where this mark the core reset arc in the network. And we can say this very similar to another representation. And we can, we have here the relational marking, uh, this both results in the vector, where that R0 is the inner reset arc, and the marking relation results in a value of once if the component is zero. It's important to recall that the A vector is multiplied element by element with the sigma finding vector. And this operation is an indicate with hashtag. The sigma vector is the vector that indicates which transition will file and has a one in each transition that one to file. Therefore, we obtain the quantity of shoot necessary to take all the tokens for the place to be reset, otherwise we obtain just one shot. And putting all things together, we can simplify all auxiliary vectors of an area, uh, inhibitor, reader, event, word, and time, like a, X, the extended enable vector, and make an end in all condition, and finally obtain the new general state equation that indicates the next state of the network is equal to current state plus the incident matrix and the matrix product between sigma conjunction with the extended neighbor vector and the multiply element by element with the reset matrix. It's important to remember that this is a mono wire. So if we don't have a, any reset arc, we can not use or from the A matrix and simplify even more or special. So when we talk about the X vector, um, the goals of time, 
it's a little bit more complicated than the regular FDNet because time sometimes it's hard to represent, but um, we can say that time is depending on will be in deterministic on a stochastic way. So, like I said before, when you have time inside this window market but alpha and beta the unit time used to measure this transition we can say the transition is enabled and if for example we are purely this alpha time we can wait until reach the necessary minimum amount of time to file, like a strategy, when we work with time. Uh, we are over with that time. We need to implement a way to consume, reset, and flow time with the means of transition. Yes? And the stochastic pattern use it to uh, represent this unit of time. We were introduced in 1980 at the following is for the discrete aerodynamic system. And the core of the representation of the epicratic pattern is based in the Markov chain. This is a core very huge, and this is a little representation of some special topics. We can talk about it all day. Like the color of the net. Remember when I introduced the concept of token that represents the flow of the petty net? We can add new features in the token and add um, expressivity of the token and make this token. Uh, added a tag, for example, with colors, and then our network is more high level because CPNs is the great element model language combining with the capabilities of PetiNet and provide the foundation of the graphical notation on basic priorities of modeling concurrent communication and synchronization. So, from a little battery net, we place transition and arc and single type of arc between them. We can build a very huge tool to adding new features or new models, models to level. So we can add it as, we can add it this concept of time, we can add the concept of token with the color, we can add uh, not only discrete transition and, and places, we can add also continuous transition and places and combine all together using always a mathematical expression for the and we can, when we work it with pertinence and the events associated with the system and the simulation of this system, we can hear an example here with the pertinent that contains the logic system, the politics that indicate which transition will file first. And we can represent for example, if working with the concurrent system, a queue of three blockers because they are not enabled to file, so we put it in the queue and wait until they are enabled. And even, an event handler that receives all events from the environment. So we combine all, all these together, all these things together, and Using the monitor, for example, the monitor design button using the concurrent, we can combine all 
and make our software behavior that work in a way that always we have the knowledge of the system and the software, and we can see also when the software will be blocked and why it's blocked, what condition makes the system block and the software block. And when the monitoring indicates which tree is ready to make a fire and make the system knowledge be changed, sorry, and make the system state change because the logic is the same. Also, when all program of system take an action and change the environment when the system is. That is the most advantage of the pertinence. And we can also study the behavior of the network, not only making simulation, also applying algorithms to, for example, know all possible states from network. And this algorithm is a minimum coordinate directory that calculates all possible states from the uh, current state of the network and uh, indicates when in place, for example, grow up in an exponential way. Tools with the pertinence are many simulators, some written in Java, others in Python, and possibly uh, some written in C++. And I will present you the my simulator and my tool make it with C++. I try to use the last standard along with the CC. And I made not only simulate the pertinent, we also calculate the minimal equality gap. Um, well, I can think we can make a little bit. So let me change the screen. I made a simulation before with the mother of time. So for example, we had here this network represent a producer consumer and very common system, for example, to represent the concurrence. We have the producer that takes the new text that allows us to make an action to do something, and we had uh, this uh, new text and the um, amount of elements to produce. So when the producer releases this token here in T2, the consumer will be allowed to consume from this. This pertinent will be represented by this JSON file. Is, uh, we have a new information about this network, and each place is represented by an index. The type of the place, sure. in this case, are all discrete place and the initial marking place. We uh, have the event and uh, an event and what used in the transition to tax we're talking about it and the type of transition we can have a temporary transition in that case we need to have more or two more information that I am beta in that case are all in my transition and the arcs that connect the place with the transition and the transition from the place. Also, we need to provide a configuration that is the file sequencing of agent. This program may uh, try to use the agent model 
simulation. So each string has a sequence to file a transition and try to file one or more transition. So for example, we can have only two trees that file transition T1, T2, three, and three, and another three, T5, T4, T5, and T6. In this case, each transition has one tree. And the max amount of file, because we can stay all day, change the network and increase. So I executed this program. And you can see this option allows to make a record of the behavior of the network. We made two simulations, one with the record, another with out the record, and see the average time per transition and the impact of making a record of each file in the network. And finally, when we have this login, we obtain this JSON file that indicates the amount of file made by the simulation, this could be less or equal to the amount because when we will have a block in the network and no transition is notified, so the simulation is done in that case. And we can see when the transition is uh, ready to file or need to put the sleep and each tweet involved with this transition and the timestamp of the network. Um, I think it's, uh, we are on time, so another uh, feature is the minimal recovery uh, tree. If we can try to implement. And we have this output. This output was later recovered by um, a visual web browser that read uh, this JSON and mark the nodes and the states uh, path from the root node here. We have another uh, no point root here. This is the initial state of the network and all possible state reached from this node. And we have here a group not omega or omega. That means when uh, in at least one place in the network grows exponentially, this algorithm is able to detect this exponential growth and mark that place like omega place. So we don't need, need to make 100 or 1 million to of node to determine when the place grow exponential and we can save time and money, of course. And I think is So thank you so much for your time and I hope to if you have any question I will hear to sorry. And uh, thank you for the opportunity and I apologize for my terrible English. I want to improve every day. Thank you. Thank you for your talk, Gabriel. It was very interesting to hear about uh Petrinets. Um, so there's actually a, a repository on GitHub where you can see a bit of the code with, if you're interested. And yes. uh, real will be on available in the lounge after this talk um, and be able to, you know, show you around in, in his code and talk to you about Petrinets. Thank you for your talk and um, I'm going to end the stream for this now. Thank you so much, Jens, for the opportunity to participate here. Uh...
and yeah, all okay. attorneys will listen to me. 